As your army grows, so do your responsibilities. Not only must you look after your soldiers, but also after their families. It is of great importance that your people are fed, that your population grows, and that your towns increase in size. Sun Tzu says, the command of a large force is the same principle as the command of a few men. It is merely a question of dividing up their numbers. An army is only as strong as the economy that supports it. A large army requires a large population and a surplus of food, gold, and other resources. Show me that you understand this important lesson. Booming is a common strategy for team games, especially on easily defensible maps such as Black Forest or Arena. It means building a strong economy before producing a powerful military. Booming makes you vulnerable until you reach the Imperial Age, but if executed properly, this strategy will allow you to overwhelm your enemies with large armies. The key to booming is ensuring constant production of villagers. Ideally, about half of your total population room should be villagers. To achieve this, you must build multiple town centers and ensure that they are always training new villagers. This requires a large amount of resources, especially food and wood, so finding the right balance will be important. You can also improve the resource gathering rate of your villagers by researching economic technologies at the town center, lumber camp, mill, and mining camp. These technologies are important, so do not ignore them. Apply these lessons and your empire will thrive. You have just reached the Castle Age. Select your town center and train as many villagers as you can with your remaining food. Set a rally point on trees for now. The key to booming is ensuring that your town centers are always busy. I say town centers because you will need more than just one. You now have enough wood and stone to build a second town center near the trees. Hey, sir. You now have enough wood and stone to build a third town center. You may even want to build a fourth town center later to speed up your villager production. Your villagers need houses. Be proactive in building houses to prevent your town centers from becoming idle. Monitor your population counter at the top of the screen. Great. Now make sure that this town center is busy by training villagers there as well. But do not forget your first town center. Remember, your town centers should always be training new villagers. Monitor your resources. If you notice that you have a lot of wood compared with food, take villagers away from wood and have them build farms. Hey, yeah. 
Schuhbeere. Schuhbeere. Hey, Sir. Breite. Hey, ja, ja. Breite. Ja, das ist ja, das ist ja. Ja, ja. das war. Schuhbeere. Hey, ja. Schuhbeere. Hey, Sir. Bereit You now have 50 villagers. Research hand cart at one of your town centers to greatly improve the gathering efficiency of your villagers. Research economic technologies at the lumber camp, mill, and mining camp to improve the gathering rate yeah. of your villagers. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Hey, sir. Bouvere. 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 The chance to earn a gold medal has passed, but you can still earn the silver or bronze medals. To the Imperial Age, you will need gold and to construct either one castle or two Castle Age buildings. Hurry up, you can still earn the bronze medal. Hey, 
reset. You are close to being housed. Construct houses to keep up with your villager production. Great! You now have 100 villagers, but you still must advance to the Imperial Age to complete this challenge. Well done! You have 100 villagers and are advancing to the Imperial Age. Your economy is now powerful enough for you to build large armies and vanquish your enemies.